What is the crack, everybody? Welcome to Food for Thought. In this uh, show, I pretty much pick a topic, whatever I feel like, whatever I experienced, and talk about it for the next exactly seven minutes. That's how long the gameplay is. And before I get into this, I know I said I wouldn't use any more Call of Duty gameplay, but to be honest, it's the only good gameplay I had. We were one up in this. Uh, these guys beat us in this round, and then it comes down to a very close climactic 1v1 clash for the bomb in the middle of the map so enjoy the gameplay and today as promised I will be talking about our experiences while in London with homeless people now as I said in the last video even though London is this amazing glitzy glamorous place the, you know, the fashion capital of the world caviar tins so expensive they have diamonds in the top there is a very dark underside to London and there is so much homelessness in London you wouldn't think it but it is shocking we had so many encounters with homeless people while we were away two of the ones that stuck out in my mind the most was the first one in Leicester Square this girl had just literally sat down uh, beside a KFC was begging for money and then the night before we had seen two other guys that were already in this spot these two guys then appeared, grabbed this girl by the hair, yanked them off, yanked her off their spot, and kicked her and told her to get away. Now, when I was watching this, I was just kind of gobsmacked by this. These two guys, these two grown guys, maybe about their late twenties, early thirties, literally just grabbed this girl, chucked her out of the spot, and told her to pretty much get lost. Using well, get lost is the more Christian way of saying it, <laughs> for lack of a better uh, phrase. But like, I just couldn't believe it. The fact that instead of gathering together and getting heat or trying begging together, you know, they were so territorial. Another one that really stuck out in my mind was on the Thursday night when we were there, we met up with a friend of mine. He's currently staying over in London doing youth work. And he took us about uh, Hyde Park and we kind of had to go under this underpass to get to the other side of this main busy road and under here there was pretty much a mini village for lack of a better word of homeless people there were tents made cardboard houses just anything you could think of it was like a mini village underneath this underpass my friend just literally turned around to me and says just keep walking don't look at anybody don't speak to anybody just keep going and we started walking through and there was a guy that just came down in front of us he must have lived down there or something and when we were watching him he was twiddling something sh shiny in his hands and it actually was a knife so let alone having to look after their spots like territorial animals they're also carrying knives like what type of world are these people living in so one they have no they have nowhere to live that they have nothing and they're having to live in an underpass in houses of tents and cardboard boxes and then instead of working together or meshing together they're throwing people out of their spots people that don't know that you know they're owned by somebody it's shocking for me don't get me wrong there is homelessness in Northern Ireland as well but compared to what I've seen in London it just is not as frequently found in Belfast, I'd say there is a lot of homelessness, and I think there is a lot of homelessness in Dublin as well. But compared to what I've seen in London, it just really shocked me, and I was totally surprised. But that's not even the worst of it. We were on the tube, and this guy got on the tube and literally said, Everybody, I have an announcement. I have no food. I have nowhere to stay tonight. Can anyone please give me a bit of money? I'm not going to lie, I got a bit freaked out and I didn't really give him anything. But neither did anyone else in the train. It's amazing what these people have to go through and do to get a bit of money. A pound to them is so significant. And to me, a pound is just, oh, another pound. Time to put that in with the rest of the change jar. And it just makes you think about what you have. I'm sitting here with two screens, a fancy ass computer. An Xbox, a PS3, a PS2, an iPod speaker, about 13, 15 game, 15 PS2 games, 10 Xbox 360 games, 3 PS2 games, and 
These people have barely anything. They barely have the clues in their back. We went to the National Gallery in uh, Leicester Square. Not Leicester Square, Trafalgar Square, with all the pigeons. There was no pigeons, though. And we were walking in, and there was a guy literally hoking through the bin. By the way, for you American viewers, hoking means rummaging, sorting through. He was hoking through this bin for all the cigarette butts or all the cigarettes that weren't fully smoked, putting them into a little tissue and then rolling them up in a new cigarette. That is the length that these people have to go through to get the things that we might take for granted. Not a smoker, but I'd say it's the people that do smoke maybe take the fact that they can get cigarettes so easily for granted. To be honest, what saddens me the most about what I've seen in London, we never hear about this. We never hear about this in the news. We never hear about this in Red Nose Day or sports relief. We never hear about these things that are happening in our own country. I'd say for you Americans that you could go into places like Los Angeles or Las Vegas or th just thinking of the big cities that pop into my head straight away and find so much homelessness. But we never hear about this. It's always about African relief aid or getting Bibles out to countries in China and places like that. Not that them things aren't important, they are completely important. It's so good to see that people actually care about those in different countries and they're trying to do something about it. But what's been done for the people in our own country? That's what impresses me and annoys me the most about this, is that there's so much, yet we never hear about it, and we never see anything really done about it. And I just hope the government starts to catch on about what's happening in their own country and stop worrying about those that really don't need much help at all. But anyway guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this, thank you for taking the time to watch any of my videos. If you enjoyed this, click the subscribe button, great content twice a week, aim to be twice a week, sometimes it doesn't happen. If you like the video, click like, apparently it's important. But as always guys, my name is Jagged Potato, I am a Christian, and I will see you all next time.